Hey guys, hope you're having a nice day, and let's go ahead and play Liming at the Warhead Junction. Okay, finally we are getting like a decent team comp. Like we have a tank, we have another tank, we have a Chromie and an Oriel. Maybe not the Oriel. Maybe, maybe not so much. I would have preferred Lucio. Lucio plus Garage, by the way, that is such a broken combo. Because like Garage gets stronger the lower he his health kind of fades in, right? And Lucio constantly heals him, uh, so like every point of healing Lucio gives to Garrosh when he's like a 20% life, like it's like, it's the same, like it, the effectiveness is almost doubled, right? Uh, so I really like that combo. Uh, but we have Oriel instead, and she doesn't really have the battery, but at the same time she doesn't really need it at this point, right? Uh, it's um, <clears throat> because after they removed the cooldown reduction on her bursting light, uh, she will always inevitably overflow with energy, uh, so like there is no reason to give her a battery since like most of the energy the battery would give her would just be the battery uh, would just be wasted anyway. So yeah, now it's just she is just a healer. I don't know which build I want to be using here. I guess I will just go for a defensive uh, for a defensive build force armor. Uh, then we're gonna pick up uh, probably uh, diamond skin at level 16, things like that, and then we're gonna focus on our on our what? I will go cannoneer. I really like cannoneer. I actually like. I'm so in love with this ability. Like it just changes kind of everything about Liming, right? Uh, she stops. Wow, I thought that would ha that would hit Misha for sure. Uh, because like it stops um, like after picking Cannoneer, Liming stops being skill shot dependent, and I feel like that's that improves her effectiveness so so much. Can we kill the bear? Oh yes, we kill the bear, and we get a cooldown reset too. What is this thing doing? Well, if only there were no minions attacking me. Actually, I should go back now. There is a Zeratul. Oh no, I screwed myself over. I picked up. I, like, I killed. Wow, I got so lucky that he didn't land that. That probably would not have killed me because I have force armor. But damn, I got lucky. Again, minions blocking my way. Well, I, I landed my missiles, but. Damn. I wish I could have cast another one. Liming is difficult to play, you know what? Yeah, she's really hard to play, that's my excuse for being bad. Uh, let's do this. Also, I'm not using like quick cast on uh, button press down in Liming, I actually use on release, because I feel like aiming her skill shots is much more valuable than uh, just get like releasing them as fast as possible, right? So like when you compare, let's say, Tracer and Liming, uh, it's much, much better on Liming to be able to aim your stuff, I feel like. I don't know which, I, I think I will go Dominance. Do we have, yeah, we have Oriel, right? Not the best healer in the world. Uh, so I feel like getting some extra healing on our own uh, will help us survive things better. And it's uh, like, I don't know, it's an amazing talent, I feel like. Uh, it's just like this instant synergy with your trait. By the way, Liming's trait. Uh, what it does is it gives you um, reset on all of your abilities after you get a takedown. And the takedown can be an assist, a kill, anything like that. You don't even need to technically assist, you just need to be in the general vicinity of the kill. And your trait procs. Is it called? Oh, it's actually called critical mass. I had no idea that her trait was called critical mass. Uh, like, what? That makes almost no sense. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I had no clue. Like that is that is bizarre to me. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, dominance, good trait ability, good trait talent, I should say. So we're gonna do that. I can't wait for Cannoneer though. It really, truly changes so many things. And we also picked up Calamity because that's a good thing. Uh, like that's the only. That's actually like the only way for Liming to actually assassinate people, right? Uh, because it does a ton of damage, 360, uh, like right now, and it will only get bigger as the game goes on. And obviously the good part is that it's instant, and the bad part is that you kind of become vulnerable, right? Like if, if you misuse your teleport and you Calamity into... 
like, I don't know, a full team of enemy players and you don't actually get a kill so that you can get resets, uh, then you are just screwed, so you need to be very very careful. And by the way, uh, this thing used to do damage to minions, it was changed kind of a long time ago and now it doesn't do anything to non-heroes. Uh, and I still keep seeing people who just cast it on minion waves and it always makes me kind of laugh, so... Uh, yeah, it doesn't do that damage to anything but heroes, not even uh, summons, so just don't use it like that, it's just a waste of mana. At that point. Uh, but there are definitely like usages for it, like for example to proc your cannoneer proc, like for example when maybe fighting a boss or something. Uh, you will use... Uh, oh, I need to be very careful. Uh, you will use Calamity. I will. I just killed myself. No, I didn't. But I missed my orb. Because I didn't have time to actually uh, get far enough, so to say. I would have died to Ragnaros if I pursued that further. That was good play by them. They forced me... Like, I took a bunch of damage, so I was forced to retreat. And then Ragnaros and Zeratul co coordinated their efforts really well, and I was screwed. Uh, so yeah, sometimes using teleport is a good idea, like to get that... <sighs> can a near proc to kill a boss, or I guess any, any sort of structure, anything you need a bit more damage on. But in general, just don't waste it like that. I will go for Wave of Force, because it's just a better ultimate on Liming, I feel like. Uh, with any build, uh, you just... it synergizes with your trade. Disin disintegrate doesn't really synergize with your trade, also it makes you very vulnerable, uh, because you will be static for 2.5 seconds. So it's like, hit me with everything you have, enemies. Can you help me there, please? Okay, that bear is trying to kill me. I'm kind of afraid to do this. Okay, let's go help the middle. Maybe I can make a difference. Well, that was a diff. <laughs> Damn it! I thought that they would commit after Lucio like used his break it down, used his down berry. I really thought that they would just commit to a kill on Chromium, but did not. Did not. Ha oh, if that stun landed, that would have been beautiful. Okay, Hammer is laning versus Rexar. Let's help her. Let's be a good teammate and help Hammer. Rexar left. God damn it! Everyone is playing so smart. I'm I'm gonna like run all this way back. And he used his ult. Oh no, if only I had, again, if only I had my level 13 with the Cannoneers, that would have been a dead Rexar. Uh, let's zone for Hammer though. Uh, there is a Zeratul somewhere, I don't see him on the map. Oh, I actually found a Zeratul. Uh, Hammer? Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> At least she helped me uh, like, in the end. <laughs> but oh well, that could have been much worse. I don't know why Zeratul re-engaged there, that was kind of awful. Uh, like, I thought that he would actually kill me, he should have committed from the start, and then he disengaged, so I got some of my cooldowns back, uh, so he just jumped in and killed himself, that was weird. Now finally we have kind of near, I, I just, just, your damage just becomes absolutely ridiculous, only Ming, and you can like pinpoint it without any problems, uh, so it just becomes that much better. If only though I was in the range of anything useful there, that would be nice. Uh, also, can a near kind of stacks, uh, so you can get like multiple activations off of it, and it will add up damage gradually with every every single usage. Uh, so that's a good thing to kind of keep in mind, I guess. Oh my gosh. If only, mm, I didn't expect the bear to die. If I expected the bear to die, that's a dead Zeratul. If I expected the bear to die, I could have uh, teleported and then teleported again, and that way I would have killed Rexar. I should have played it better. 
Okay, I mean, this is finally a win. We, we got some losses on the channel. This is, I think, I feel like this is time to win. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was really, really nice. Oh, just siege a bit. Uh, also, if you are not picking up any of the like mana regeneration options at level 1, uh, you need to be very very careful about your mana usage as Li Ming because she is super mana hungry. So you need to make sure that every time you use a skill shot, it better, it better hit something. Because otherwise, just bad things will happen. I will try to break the Ragnaros, the Molten Core, slightly faster. Just so that, yeah, there we go. I'm kind of baiting them into a time trap because that way I can God damn it, he ran away. I I hmm. I thought I would kill them. I damn it. Like that Zeratul would have died should have died, and if he did, everyone would have died there. Good dodge by Chromie. I don't think she actually tried to dodge it though. I think what happens there, she used her Sand Blast and then she just auto attacked Zeratul for the Bronze Talons proc. Uh, so <laughs> Ragnaros missed his ultimate because Chromie just did whatever. Damn, I can't believe that Zeratul survived though. Also, I had ever, like when they were chasing me, I could have also like tried to catch him and kill him, but everything was like on a one second cooldown, so that sucked. Oh yeah, they will all die. I will clear top then. Um, what do I want here? Kind of, I don't know. But like fireflies and mirror ball always seem to be really, really nice turns. And I actually don't know which one I like better. Both of them seem to get the value. Also, like. Uh, mirror ball makes more sense when you consider Liming's um, trait, since you want to get as many. Since you are getting resets anyway, getting cooldown reduction from fireflies doesn't really much make much sense. But uh, fireflies actually has more damage than mirror ball, more DPS. If you don't count in the critical mass ultimate, right? Uh, fireflies will always give you a better damage boost than your. How am okay? Damn it! It should show its hitbox below it because it's like right there, and it's so hard to figure out. Yeah, we'll go for fireflies. That way we can actually hit hit things a bit better, hit our skill shots a bit better. That will that will be helpful for PS reasons. Was actually able to drop the beat. That's not fair. There we go. Things are working. Okay, Ragnaros was just sieging top. Will he go for the mercenary camp? Will he do it? Because if he does, if he is doing this, I'm gonna kill him. Nope. Damn it. Well, that was bad. I will deal with the boss then, since I can do it relatively well, as I mean. Especially with fireflies, this is probably one of the best uh, reasons to go for fireflies because you can just spam it here, and also you can, after picking up fireflies, you can just spam your missiles however you want. Usually, it will take I, I don't know, it will take ages for you to run out of mana using your missiles, so you can just use them whenever. And obviously, it helps with the uh, force armor stacking. So like Liming has a lot of, <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, Liming has a lot of talent synergies, and that makes her a really really fun hero to play. Oh my gosh, there is like a whole team there. All of them are dead. Oh no, he escaped because he ran out of mana. <laughs> oh no, but that was fun. Finally we made it work. Face rolling Liming, always the best kind. Damn, that was satisfying. Okay, let's see what we can do now. Uh, I will grab the globe because I need mana. 
That was hilarious. I won't actually use another nuke there, we can just get it for free. I will actually get this camp instead. And that seems like a better usage of... And then use my nuke like somewhere else. Maybe to get top boss or to push with top boss. That makes much more sense, right? Now we can just leave it. And uh, get some value elsewhere. Uh, I'm really low on mana, so I feel like we should just run away. Again with the beat. Oh my gosh, so close. I'm out of mana, I'm out of mana, I forgot that I'm out of mana. Sorry team, I forgot. Okay, can we get, oh damn. Oh my god, I'm doing so much damage. Uh, Zeratul actually could have blinked to me with his Warpal Blade uh, because uh, I had um, vision, reticle, like that red mark over your head. After Zeratul attacks uh, you and he has the Warpal Blade talent, as long as you have that uh, red vision reticle, it, um, it means that Zeratul can teleport to you. So you need to be careful about that. But that was fun. I will actually grab this camp since I can and we're gonna pick up Talarasha's elements for even more damage. Repulsion is kind of fun, but I always kind of prefer extra damage uh, from your Talarasha's elements. Also, Talarasha's elements synergize with your Cannoneer since Cannoneer tor turns your auto attacks into ability damage and uh, you get more ability power with Talarasha's elements. That is really, really cool. How is it? Who? I guess Rexar, yeah? Rexar is doing bosses. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Let's save Hammer. Okay. Let's kill Rexar. You know what? Screw Hammer. Oh no, I'm now alone here. I'm now alone. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We need to kill the boss. Why? Where is him? Oh no. Oh no, team, what is happening? What is happening, team? Maybe I should have used... Well, now it's kind of too late to use the nuke, but maybe I should have done that. I actually, the boss didn't really do that much damage, so that was fine. Also, using your ultimates as Liming, it's not really that big of a deal. They are super short cooldown, so you can just you can just pop them whenever, if you like it. Well, unless the team fight is right about to begin and then you just waste it right before it begins. That's, that's not the best. Oh my god! If only that... God damn it! We, we're gonna lose this now, yeah. They have two nukes now. We're gonna lose this. Yeah, that's game over. Maybe Hammer can somehow defend this, but I really doubt it. Oh damn, that should have been a kill on Rexar. Ah, everyone would have died then. He doesn't have the Fain Death ability, yeah. So, like, he is always a vulnerable target and I have no idea how he didn't die. Hammer should not have... Sh oh, yeah, she should not have engaged them there, she should have defended the core. Yeah, now we're gonna lose this. God damn it, another loss. Oh, man, that was my fault too, I could have survived that. If I didn't... Like, that's... Uh, that fight was exactly what I was talking about when using your teleport for calamity damage and not getting the kill. That's what happens. Oh damn, that was awful. That was so bad. <laughs> Such a sad loss. Well, not really sad, but it was like, and it's over. Like, it was like, oh, we are winning. We kind of came back into the game. We are now ahead. We are putting a lot of pressure on our enemies. And then somebody dies. And then we fight. And now it's over. I guess that's how games usually end in Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, it's always like th where a small thing happens and everything falls apart. God damn it. It was fun, though. It was fun while it lasted. I have no idea how the Drexar survived. Lucio didn't even save him with his sound barrier. I like I tried to push Rexar as far away from that as possible with my ultimate. And I succeeded at that and then it was still not enough damage. I don't I don't get it. I don't know what happened there. That was awful. And everyone just instantly died too. That was hilarious. <sighs> 
Oh well. Why do you go for reaching through? Like, um, when, when going on Chromi for reaching through time, you need a really, really, really strong frontline. Like, usually you do it when you have a double tank and the healer with you that can peel for you. Because otherwise, bye bye or that stasis are always, always the better choice and that extra range. Like, you won't get the value from the range when there is Zeratul in your face. Like, seriously. But it was fun. It was fun nonetheless. Damn, it's such a stupid loss. But I think that's gonna be it. So if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.